University of Toledo professor of political science, Dr. Sam Nelson, joins us to break down what we are seeing tonight. I just said to Jeff, what do you think tomorrow's headline is going to be? Is it going to be no big red wave? He said, well, maybe here, but it depends on the rest of the country. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do. And I, right now, it looks like nationwide, uh, at least the states that have closed already, no red wave. Mm -hmm. um, they may probably still take control of the House of Representatives, but a much narrower margin. And remember, the average uh, uh, pickup of seats in a midterm for the out party uh, yeah. is 26. Uh, and it doesn't look like they're going to come even close to picking up 26 seats. You, you dive into this thing from a learned, learned perspective. This has been your life. Uh, talk about the, the I, I guess, the existence of having a Democratic White House, a Republican House of Representatives, maybe a Democratic Senate. Just not having that wave of blue or that wave of red, I, I, does it mean better things for the country going forward? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I think it means more gridlock, more conflict. Um, given the intense partisan polarization we see right now, and in Congress, not a lot of bipartisan deal making their way there might have been 30 years ago. And so I think you're going to see a lot of conflict uh, coming out of this. Uh, if Republicans control the House and maybe the Senate, they're going to be butting heads with Biden for the next two years. Mm -hmm. Sometime in the spring, the debt ceiling needs to be raised. That's going to be a major crisis point if we have divided government. Even though we heard today the positivity of that situation from Wall Street saying that if there if there are no new tax and you know taxes levy, there are no spending programs. That being a positive of seeing that, yes. There are always winners, right? In in terms of do nothing is the position that a lot of people would like and some people benefit from that yeah. uh, but the question is as well what if there are things that need to be done um, if republicans take control of the senate will joe biden be able to nominate and get confirmed any judges mm -hmm. uh, going for forward. instance uh, going forward that has a big impact on um, dockets and case delays and absolutely like dr sam nelson thank you for all your insight throughout this election night uh, certainly shed some light on a lot of the questions i know we have thanks so much mm -hmm.